Hello everyone, this is Palo Willi from Wild Design Studio. Today we are going to look at the command revolve, how to revolve objects, or how to do the revolve command. How then do you do a 360 degrees revolution object? And I said it's very simple, so today we want to get into that. But before you do a revolve, you first need a profile curve profile curve profile curve in the sense that the profile curve is the shape tells the shape of how the object is going to look like and in revolving it goes around 360 so whichever design or sh uh, shape you have for the curve is going to appear when you do the revolve so let's get into it i'm going to create using the control point curve I'm going to create a simple profile curve of an object, maybe a cup or a bowl or something like that. Now, now that I'm done with the curve, that this is my profile curve, but I'm going to make it two. I'm going to make it two. So I'm going to use a command called offset curve to offset curve. So I'll go to curve menu. And then we offset the the curve. Um, offset curve. So the command area asks to select curve to offset, and it's going to be this one. You press enter, and so you can see that it has given me a duplication of the the first curve. It can be outside or inside, whichever direction you want. So. And the distance, you can see that a white line appears here. That means the distance is one uh, millimeters here. So if you want to change it to two, you only type two or three or four at the command area. Then you press enter. You will see that the, the distance begins to increase in size. If I type four, you will see that it changes. If I type six, you will see that it increases so that is how it is done so anyone who want to try out this who is following this tutorial you can use your own settings i'm using one millimeter and i press enter so you click and then it's off now we have the duplication now it is an object we are we are actually creating so we have to close the tip and so in creating the tip of that object we need to either extend the curve by arc here or we blend these two curves so let's use the blend command so we are going to blend the, uh, these two curves together so we go to curve menu we say blend curve by arc or you can make it adjustable you can try any of them the one that works best better for you then it's okay so the select first curve near one end this one and then the second one is that one and automatically you can see that it has blended the two together but it is not joined when you are done you press enter okay but as we can see they are separated so what we have to do is to join them first so we go to join or you type in join join and it says select curve to join we are joining all these three curves you can group select them you can group select them before applying join or you can select them one after the other and when you are done you press enter now we have this curve as one profile curve so this this is our profile curve now we are going to issue the command revolve revolve okay so you can type revolve from the command area as in revolve or you go to surface menu you will see revolve or you go to tools surface tools you will see revolve in this area or in uh, among the the two the toolbox for surface tools because anytime you click on any of these uh two modifying 
uh, icons, the, it, the toolbar changes here. So from the standard bar, you can look for or you can get revolve from surface menu here. And that is revolve. Okay, so we select revolve and the command area says select curve to revolve. This is our curve. And it says press enter when done. I press enter and then it says start of revolve as is. And since we want the object to rotate in 360, we'll start from one end of the open area of the curve. We click and it says the end end of revolve as is. It's going to go 360, so we drag it up rather. And then you click again and it's asking the command areas ask start of angle it's going to be from zero say yes zero you press enter if you agree to that and then it says should it go the revolution angle for the three the uh, revolve should it be 360 so let's look at how this object is behaving from the perspective view now you see as you can see any angle that's for the revolution that is given or that i i type here you will see that it is going to uh end up in that uh, area so you can see this is revolve it's revolving when it revolves and get to the end here the end here then that is 360 but if we type in 270 degrees as the revolution you will see that it has given me only 270 degrees of the revolution. If we type in 70 degrees, this is 70 degrees and it moves no more. It moves no more, as you can see. You see, it moves no more. But if we do not type anything there and we move the mouse, it does not have or Rhino is not being given or I did not give the command to Rhino to give me any revolution here So it moves as I move the mouse round The profile curve continue to extend to follow it and as as you can see this is one of the most uh, Beautiful thing about rhinoceros that I, I like and so as you can see so let's make a 360 if you agree with 360 you type 360 you press enter and your revolve command has been executed in rhinoceros this is how simple uh, revolving is done in rhinoceros so this is the revolve command if you want to go more into the revolve command or do more revolve uh, this is uh, one of the simple way to make a three uh 60 degrees objects so that this is a simple bow we have created now thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials hit the like button and every week a tutorial on the basics of rhinoceros will be given out on my channel thanks so much for watching i'll see you again next week for another tutorial thank you